So now we're going to look at the muscles of the neck and the shoulder of the bovine. Okay. So we come up here, we see the jugular groove or the external jugular vein. It's going to be bound by the brachiocephalicus muscle dorsally and the sternomandibularis portion of the sternocephalicus ventrally. Deep in the more cranial portion, we find the sternomastoideus portion of the sternocephalic. So in the bovine, we have two portions of our sternocephalic, and we have three portions of our brachiocephalic. Our brachiocephalic is going to have a clitomastoideus portion here, and a clido-occipitalis portion, as well as the clidobrachialis portion. And just like in the horse, this kind of triangular piece coming off the shoulder and blending in, kind of petering out up the neck here like this, is going to be the omotransversarius. Okay. Now kind of blending in with the more dorsal portion of that, we're going to see the trapezius muscle. So the trapezius has both a cervical and a thoracic portion here. Just like in the horse, we see that in the bovine, deep to the splenius and the other epaxial muscles, we see the nuchal ligament. It's quite extensive, just like in the horse. It has a funicular portion as well as a laminar portion. It's not as well dissected in this specimen as we did in a horse, but it's still very important to the bovine to hold up the head. The deltoideus muscle here in the bovine has two portions because we have an acromial portion as well as a spinous portion like in the dog. And we can also see the long and the lateral heads of the triceps brachii muscle here. Okay, coming back over here to the neck again. Deeper down in, we see the carotid sheath containing the common carotid artery. Always dorsal medial is going to be the vagosympathetic trunk. We can see here a small vein, which is going to be the internal jugular vein. And then we see possibly this here. Yeah, this here is going to be the right recurrent laryngeal nerve. Okay, running along the trachea. Now, we see a lot of this tissue up in here. This is thymus tissue. In the young horse and in the calf, we see thymus not just in the thoracic cavity, but coming all the way up the neck, okay? So here is going to be our, okay, so this was our sternomandibularis. This is our sternomastoideus portion of our sternocephalicus. Down in here, up against the ventral surface of the trachea, we find, once again, the sternothyrohyoideus dividing into the sternothyroideus here and the sternohyoideus here. So like the horse, the bovine does have a omohyoideus here, kind of in this somewhat same location, except for we see that in the bovine that it's attaching to the hyoid and then coming down here and attaching along some of the cervical vertebrae and then it just kind of ends. Okay, so it's not truly omo, but we still call it the omohyoideus as it's going to act the same as the omohyoideus in the horse. So we find deep to our brachiocephalicus muscle here attaching to the clavicular intersection, or thereabouts, is this very thin strap-like muscle here. 
This is going down to the manubrium. This is going to be the subclavius muscle in the bovine. So it's much smaller than what we saw in the equine. This artery we see here, this is, these are branches from the superficial cervical artery, and they're coming up here adjacent to this very large lymph node here, the superficial cervical lymph node. This is in fact palpable in the live animal. We have the superficial pectoralis muscle down here. Over here we can see very nicely the cephalic vein coming down. On this side we can see nicely the trapezius has been reflected. We see the rhomboidus cervices here, thoracis here, splenius, serratus ventralis cervices here. Once again, the omotransversarius and the brachiocephalic device. So we look here, the, here's the deltoideus. The deltoideus muscle here has been reflected down. We can see the infraspinatus, the supraspinatus. There's our spine of the scapula. The infraspinatus has been cut to show the infraspinous bursa sitting over the caudal aspect of the greater tubercle. And so we have the long head of the triceps and the lateral head of the triceps. We can see the superficial radial coming this way and the deep should be diving under here. Yeah, you can see the deep diving right up under here going down to these muscles of the craniolateral and a brachium. And so this muscle here is going to be the brachialis muscle sitting in the brachialis groove. So here's the latissimus dorsi, transected. And we can see a little bit here of the tensor fascia and a brachii muscle, as we did in the horse. And back here we got a little bit of the teres major. Teres minor is going to be sitting right here. So remember the teres minor, teres major, and deltoideus innervated by the axillary nerve, which we should see branches coming out right through here. And these branches of the artery are the caudal circumflex humoral. There we go.